especially with homes and things, in today's video, we are touring a single wide. It's the Vin Diesel, three bedroom, two bath, beautiful little cozy home. I absolutely love it. Let's get into the video. All right, y'all, again, I said the Vin Diesel. I do apologize. This is the Dart. I had it backwards. The Dart is a three bedroom, two bath home. It's out at Wayne Fryer Homes in Albany, Georgia. Three bedrooms, two bath, real cozy, well put together. I like it a lot. Let's go take a look. Again, this home is really cozy, you guys. Um, the first thing that you see when you walk in the door to the left is the living room. Now, the living room is spacious. There's lots of room for you to put your furniture. Again, this is a single wide, so you're not going to have a lot of furniture. You're not going to have big and bulky furniture. But there is space for a small sectional or a couch and a love seat. Now, I do feel that they have more than enough tables in this room, the way it's decorated, and I don't think that's necessary. That table where uh, the sofa table is, you could mount your TV on the wall and have your furniture facing in that direction, or you can put a smaller couch or chair on the opposite wall from the bigger couch. So it is room to decorate, and also this couch may be a little big for this room. Um, they just decorate to give you an idea of what the house will look like. But there are some ideas of how you could decorate this space. And the person looking for a single wide is going, is going to probably be a minimalist or know that you can't have a lot of furniture in this home. So let's move into the kitchen area. Right here at this window, I would put a table, maybe a table for two or a smaller table with four chairs, but it's more than enough room there to put the right size table. And then you have your kitchen. Y'all, I absolutely love the cabinet color. Um, I love the fact that the wood trim around the house is the same color. It's more than enough cabinet space in this kitchen. You have um, more than enough counter space because of the peninsula there. Just love, love, love what they did to make sure that you had the right amount of storage in this home. And anytime there's a window above my sink where I can look out while I'm doing the dishes or I can have feel the breeze coming in on my face while I'm cooking or and washing dishes is always a plus. So let's take a look around before we check out the bedrooms. Again, this is a single wide, you guys, but it's quite comfortable and quite cozy. And I think that you could do a lot with the decorating of this home. On this hallway, you have the additional bedrooms. Let me go ahead and apologize. These single wides, none of them in this series have lights, and I didn't have additional light with me on this day, but we're gonna make the most of it. Here's bedroom number one. Uh, it has a standard closet. It has a window bringing in lots of light, and you have space for a twin bed. I would actually put the twin bed, the head of it, in that cubby, and then put a small desk at the foot of the bed, uh, next to the foot of the bed. So. Um, I don't know how, what are your ideas on decorating this room? This room could also serve as an office if you didn't need this room as a bedroom. I think it would be the perfect office and you can make it cozy or you can make it where you have lots of space to kind of move around in this area. So this is bedroom number one. It is carpeted and it is big enough for a twin size bed, maybe some small furniture, a nightstand and a little desk. Uh, depending on how you position the furniture, I think it would be perfect either way, bedroom or office.
Next to the first bedroom, you have this additional bathroom. Again, there is no light in here, but I was able to turn the light on on my phone, so I hope that helps. You have a standard bathroom with tub and shower combo. More than enough room in here. I think it's a nice size bathroom, and I could really see how you could put pictures and shower curtains and rugs and make it look really cute. Next to it is bedroom number three nice size bedroom you can put a queen full or twin bed in here and still have room for furniture you have a standard closet and again lots of space so go ahead and look around this room and then we'll go take a look at the master All right, we'll take a peek back into these rooms as we're headed to the master again. This is the second uh, restroom, the uh, guest restroom. Uh, you have two bedrooms and a bathroom on this side. And then through the living room and kitchen, we'll take a look at the primary bedroom on the opposite side of the house. Right off the kitchen, you have the back door um so yeah you do have a back door in this room uh which i like having it by the kitchen because for me when i go to take the trash out or sit the trash outside so my husband can put it in the dumpster i don't want to go too far so the fact that it's right there is perfect and then right past the uh back door before you get to the primary is the laundry room now the laundry room is down this little hallway and around the corner. As you can see, you can put your uh, washer and dryer in here. It's tucked away. The only thing I didn't see in here was like a um, shelf or rack or something in here to put your laundry detergent, cleaning supplies, uh, additional clothes or what have you. So I would request that when I was ordering this home if I was going to buy it. Um, but that's a quick fix next to the laundry room is the primary bedroom I must say I was quite impressed with the size of this bedroom this is a nice size primary bedroom and you had have a couple of options for where you're gonna put your headboard especially if it's not a king size now the good thing is this room could fit a king size bed so that is always a plus but this is a really nice bedroom. Uh, of course, all the specs will be on the screen, but yeah, this is a nice bedroom. You could put your bed on that wall right there. You could put your bed on that back wall, that biggest wall. Like there are quite a few options. If you have a queen, you have space to put your uh, headboard right there between the bathroom and the closet if you chose or a full. But a king size would fit over here. So that is really a plus. And that's probably the ideal place because of where the plugs are positioned. But that's, uh, this is a really nice space for a primary bedroom. This is the primary closet. Again, bring the shelving around on all the walls so you have enough space to hang your, your stuff, which is a quick fix. They can do that before they pull the house off the lot. But those two empty walls should have racks to hang your clothes as well. So that's something you think about when you're viewing these homes. If you look at and you find the perfect home and it doesn't have enough racks, tell them so they can fix that. This is the primary bathroom. You've got a sink, toilet, tub, and shower. All you need, right? Absolutely. It's absolutely all you need. So you think about it. The person that would have this uh, single wide home, this would be just enough space for them. So really nice. You have a window that opens for ventilation in this room. Perfect. So again, this is the primary. We've seen the entire house. It has been such a pleasure touring this house. I haven't toured a single wide in a while. 
this particular day I'm going to tour 12 of them um, and this was number one so get ready you guys we have some beautiful single wives coming all right so again this single wide is called the Vin Diesel it's a three bedroom two bath and it's out here at Wayne Fire Homes in Albany Georgia now they don't post prices so if you're interested give them a call and if you tell them that Christy from Homes and Things sent you when you purchase, you get a free furniture package. See you in the next video.